Happy New Year! Um, so far this year has been really good. I hope it's been good for you guys too. But today I wanted to do a haul for you guys. Um, like our nearest Kmart was going out of business and they had everything up to like 80 and 90% off so I was gonna snag a deal. I know it's not high designer brands but it was still something I was really looking forward to so I just want to show you everything I got. And also as a quick reminder I am going back to school next week. So uploads might be few and far between. I kind of have to figure out what I want to upload, but I have a whole dorm room to myself. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch Vlogmas Day 15, 16, and 17, and that'll explain everything. But for now, we are just going to do a haul. So when I went to Kmart, I went on two separate days. I went on Thursday when everything was between 60 and 80% off. And then I went on Saturday, the day before close, when everything was 80 to 90% off. So. The first thing I got on the first day was this pair of knockoff Birkenstocks. They just look like Birkenstocks, but they're not. These are actually men's. They're a size 7 in men's. Um, I don't know why they were men's size, but the 7 fit me the best. And they are just like the double strap Birkenstocks. And if you guys didn't know, I have the flip-flop ones that I always buy from Kmart. And I wore those to death. Um, so I got another pair, and I haven't worn them since it was warm out. So I thought I'd get another pair of Birkenstocks. And these shoes were $3.79. I have the receipt with me, so you guys can know how much I paid for everything. I got another pair of shoes that day, and they were these ballet flats. They're just black. They look like pleather, and they have little pleather bows. And they were originally $16.99. And they were on sale for $5.08, which I think is a steal. They're just a pair of bongo flats. Nothing special. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Those shoes were $16.99 on sale as well. The Birkenstocks. I also got a shirt from the Adam Levine collection. Oh, wait. This isn't Adam Levine. This is Joe Boxer. I lied. My apologies. And it's just this tank top crop top. It's gray. And it has a yellow sun with shining rays. And then it has the sea just like blue waves and it has sequins on it in places and it's actually one of the comfiest things I've ever owned in my life. I'm not huge on wearing crop tops because I wear them with high-waisted things. Uh, that's just how I like to wear them. But this is actually really cute and it's kind of like a burnout tee. If you look at the fabric, it's very thin, but I love it. And this shirt was 99 cents. That's crazy. I also got some makeup while I was there. The first thing I got was nail polish, and it was originally 5 bucks, but it was on sale for $2.50, but when I bought it, it was $1.50. It's just this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant Polish in Totally Tula. You can see it's just this nice pink color, and I can't wait to wear it for spring. And right now I have on Revlon, Rain, Revlon Rainforest, um, which is a very nice color as well. It's just this shimmery green. And the other makeup product I got was this Profusion palette. It's like their chocolate palette. It looks like a chocolate bar. It reminds me of the chocolate palette by, I want to say Too Faced, but I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Um, and it was originally, this is 15 but I don't think that's right. Oh, it was $5, and then it was on sale for $2.49, and I got it for $1.49. This is the Glamour Bar Eyeshadow. And it comes with an eyeliner pencil. Oh, that's cool. And the two brushes. And it's just this neutrals palette. It has a lot of neutrals, but it also has a nice, like, country green and a shimmery blue and some purple. It's got a nice white shade for, like, a primer. And it also gives you a guide on how to wear it. And I also love the design of this palette. It's got, like, a chocolate bar on it, and I love chocolate. So I love this palette. So the second day I went to Kmart... I got another pair of shoes. I had been debating on buying these. They're just Joe Boxer shoes. They're like knockoff Toms. And I finally decided to get them because they were on sale even more. Um, they were originally $14.99 and I got them for $4.49. And I like these better than the ones I got from Target because they have this nice rubber bottom. And that doesn't mean it's going to last forever, but they're surely going to last longer than the ones I have, and I just got them in black. There was gray and there was black, but I like my black Toms better. The next thing I got was from the Adam Levine collection. It was originally $17.99, and then it got discounted to $8.99, and 
Then it got discounted again to a dollar seventy nine, and it's just this purple crop top, and it's like tie dye, and I really love it. It's actually super soft, and it's got these cuff sleeves, which make it look extra cool. And I don't know, I just really like the Adam Levine collection. This is like the only thing I have from it, but from everything I saw from what they had left over, it was really cool. Next thing I got was this dress from Bongo. It's just an orange dress, and when I tried it on, it was like knee length, like you know like midi length, how that's a thing. It's just got this racer back, but when you turn it around, it has chains on the back. It's pretty cool, except one of the chains is broken already. So my mom's going to fix that for me before, well not before I go to school because I'm not going to need this, but I really like this dress. Um, it's a little, t not like tight, but like form fitting, so I'm going to lose a little more weight before I wear this, but I really like this color. And it was $4.99, and it was originally $24.99, so it's $20 cheaper. The next thing I got was also from the Adam Levine collection, it is this pair of florally shorts. They're blue and they have a dark blue floral, kind of like hibiscuses and like clovers, and they're really cute. They're kind of like cargo shorts, which is a little weird. They have like these cargo pockets, but I wish I bought the green pair of these too because these are so comfy. Like if you have a Kmart near you that's not going out of business, these would so be worth spending the money that they were. These were originally $23, got marked down to $13.79, and I paid... I paid $2.75 for these. They're like rayon, like linen. So comfy. The comfiest shorts I own. They're even like a little tight on me and they're still super comfy. They don't have back pockets though. They have front pockets and they have cargo pockets. But these are the comfiest shorts I own, hands down. So these are good investments. The next thing I got, I'm so excited to wear because I'm actually going to the Marianas Trench concert at Higher Ground. If you don't know who Marianas Trench is, they're one of the best bands ever. I think they're my favorite right now. And I'm actually doing VIP meet and greet, so I'm going to meet them. So I'm super excited. Um, but I got this Joe Boxer pleather mini skirt. It's kind of like a wraparound skirt. Like, it zips up right here. But it, like, I don't know. It has, like, two flaps. It's weird. And I was debating buying this. Like, I almost put this back. But it was my size. And... It was $22.99, and I got it on sale for $4.59, which was crazy for a pleather mini skirt. Like, this is really cute. I paid more than that for my circle skirt from Debs that was pleather. So, this looks like this, and it's all plain. It's so comfortable. The next thing I got was this pink handbag and I had bought a black handbag at the last time like the Thursday one I think I only paid like eight bucks for it um I don't have it with me because I'm actually using it but it's just black and has studs on it and I'd been debating buying this purse but I was like no just buy one purse for now and then we ended up going again on Saturday uh, me and my dad because we wanted to see if they just had simple t-shirts because him and my mom are going on a cruise soon so this purse was originally $22.99 I got it on sale for $4.59, and it's just this very light blush pink kind of fake snakeskin bag. It's got a crossbody kind of handle, plus it has like little handles, and the inside is just black, and it's got zippers and pockets. There's an outside zipper as well. I just really like it. I think it'll hold everything I need. I'm not a huge fan of like super big bags unless I'm trying to tote stuff, but... I never really do that much. And the last things I got were kind of as a set. This was the thing I was most excited for. I found the top first and then the bottoms and then like the second top for it. But I got a full bikini with the rash guard. Um, I love wearing bikinis better than tankinis and one pieces just because I like to feel like free when I'm swimming. So these are the bottoms. They are just this bright blue on the front with this neon pink on the sides and it's bright blue on the back. And this like highlighter yellow stitching and the inside is highlighter yellow too. It reminds me of the really high class bathing suits and I can't remember what they're called but every YouTuber has them with like the block lining on them. Um, like it makes it look blocky but good. So um, mine has a black lining and these bottoms were originally $17.99 and someone ripped the sale tag off of it. And 
I got the bottoms for $3.59. And they're just really comfortable as well for a bathing suit. And then I got the rash guard top for this bikini because, you know, it was there. Why not? And it's just black with yellow stitching and bright pink collar and zipper and kind of like cuffs is where the bright pink is. And it was originally 35 bucks, but I got it for $6.99 for seven bucks. That, oh my goodness, I didn't realize how much it was until I bought it. But it's super comfortable and I think it's going to be really nice for those days when I don't want to like show my shoulders that much, like if I get sunburned, um, because I'm working as a pool counselor, like a pool assistant slash camp counselor again. And this is the last thing. This is the bikini top. I love this. I can't get over this. I actually put a black strap from one of my other bathing suits. I put it on backwards, apparently, because um, my chest isn't quite big enough for this. Like, I'm an extra large around here, but not in the breast area. I'm just not that well in depth. So I got this top. It has some, like, mud stains or dirt stains because everyone's stepping on everything. So, um... I can just do some tie to go on that, but it's just this bright blue and then bright pink with yellow stitching and it's got the black lining and it's got the zipper, the yellow zipper, and the inside is highlighter yellow and it has cups, which is nice, and then I put my own strap on it. And this bathing suit top was originally 30 bucks, but I got it on sale for 6 bucks, which was really, really awesome. So... That's everything I got. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if there's anything you want to see from me. Like, uh, maybe a spring fashion video. Once spring rolls around, it's still winter. Get ready with me for the Marianne's Trench concert. Whatever you guys want to see, I'm almost willing to do everything. So just comment down below. If you want to see when I upload, hit that subscribe button right down there. That nice subscribe button. And you'll be notified whenever I upload. I try to upload weekly. But, you know, school and life and college, you know. All that stuff and work just gets in the way and yeah don't forget to share me with your friends egirl371 on youtube follow me on twitter at erica Zalau, instagram at silverphoenix371 and tumblr at silverphoenix371 i love you all so much i hope you have a wonderful new year and i hope the rest of your school year goes well i love you all bye all the girls on the